Okay, so for heat problems, here's our little review. The main concept is the law of conservation of energy. From the law of conservation of energy comes the following formula. Oops, not E, but summation of Q's, all heats, equals zero. That means if you have a system, the heat coming in and the heat going out, there could be many of them, they all add up to zero. Because according to the law of conservation of energy, you cannot create new energy somewhere. So the sum of all those is going to be zero. Now you want to know where can those come from. And then after I set this up, we'll do kind of like a, a little practice or something. So this, uh, a common place for this to come from is temperature. So if there is a temperature change, if there is a temperature change, you will have a Q, definitely. And that Q formula will be Q equals M CP delta T. Okay, so anytime you have a temperature change, it's very significant. Okay, the other possibility. If you have an enthalpy change, okay? So if there's an enthalpy change, that would be like a delta H. Usually, oh, let me tell you what first the couple categories are. This could be from solution mixing. Ah, well, we'll take C. Uh, this could be from a reaction, or this can be from a phase change. So, if you're looking at a problem and you saw a reaction happen, there is definitely a delta H that needs to go in here. Okay? If you look at a reaction and there's a solution mixing, that's really this chapter, so we haven't seen an example yet, but there would be a delta H. If you look at react something happening in a system and something changes phases, it melts, it freezes, it boils, it condenses, there's a delta H for that. Okay? So all these have a delta H. Usually, it could be a couple categories. You could be given this. You could look it up in a table, or you're solving for this. Okay? So, if you look it up in a table, the units are almost always kilojoules per mole. That's only if you look it up in a table. Usually those are really common reporting units. Or if we give it to you, usually we'll give it in these units. So what you'll have to do, because does anybody know what units this is in here? A Q, MCP delta T, what units that would be? Joules. That would be joules, yeah. So when you multiply that out, that's usually going to be in joules. If it's English units, it'll be calories. So here, you see how kilojoules per mole and joules don't match up. So you'd have to convert this to joules using that 1,000 joules for every one kilojoule. So you'll probably have to use a conversion. I'll write that right here. And you got to get rid of those moles. Okay? So how you get rid of moles? You just multiply by moles. Okay? Sometimes this is in kilojoules per gram. So you got to multiply by mass units. Whatever it is, you got to convert it to joules. Almost always you'll have to convert this somehow. Yeah, so it's just something to keep in mind.